Keep running! We should search the area. Go! I thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade. It was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit? I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. memory of the divine a reflection if that is the story you wish to tell it is not a bad one what we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple thanks to the gray wardens as i said the gray wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of corypheus we can discuss this further once we return to adamant yes adamant where the inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the wardens how dare you judge us? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. The Wardens are a risk. Send them away before they cause even more trouble. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones, but an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. Form up! I'm with you. Warden Stroud, how must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we will end this wretched beast.
Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. <laughs> Whenever they feel like it here. Wonder what's up there. Or maybe it's best we never find out. hard to trust my footing in this place.
behind you! to the farthest reaches of the fate. The rift! They're almost there. Great, Hawk. Why not just dare the old gods to try and stop you? Cannot stand against me. Nothing.
I grow fat on your fear. You will die in agony! Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Stroud. Inquisitor. It has been an honor. For the warden! She was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. Once they understand what really happened... Honestly, after all the death they've seen, perhaps it would be better to let them believe the legend. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Warden Stroud died, striking a blow against the Servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice. And remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens. Even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? 
I do, your worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weisholt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, your worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. Hawk send me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Inatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Ole falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine, and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or a soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... You seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry. I failed you, too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. you gave the Grey Wardens another chance, Inquisitor. Would I have done the same, I wonder? Forgiveness can be difficult. I hope the Order values what you've done and gives you no reason to regret it. I'll leave you to it. Here we are again. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. Good afternoon. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He saved Hawk's little sister from the blight. Not many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. You must be glad that Hawk made it back in one piece. Yeah. Closest thing I've ever seen to a miracle there. Oh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. Baker's breath. Isabella's going to be furious. 
I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. Inquisitor. We've an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They... Wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Fane. They think she spoke to me? Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fane. You could attempt to tell Varroyo citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. Tell these petitioners, Andraste said she cares for us always, as she walks by the Maker's side. A fine sentiment. We will have it proclaimed in Val Royal. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Are you alright? You seem... very intent. I am. This needs to be done before I forget. As if written by a dim-witted child. <sighs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, Yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so... Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages.
Again. <coughs> Again. <coughs> uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? Bull, if you're scared of demons... Less talking, more hitting. Piece of fade, piece of crap! And who killed you? That's right. Iron fucking ball! <sighs> oh, oh, I needed that. <sighs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> and that works for you? <sighs> yep. <sighs> All right, then. Come we the able true to skyhold now a fortress strong with our hero born and new inquisitor as none as brave as he heard what went on in that fade thing what you think went on can't even start to believe that business I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious mustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died or... I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden? You forget the hero of Ferelden? That was ages ago, ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice though, different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help! Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. 
I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Finally a place for the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her Wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths, willingly. They died for... us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. We stopped him. We saved most of the Wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good. To be good and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Inquisitor. You walked physically through the Fade. Please tell me what you remember. I've heard stories about the dangers of the Fade, but I've never actually seen them before. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now.
Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven. The Fade. Escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? Demons tore her from me. I couldn't stop them. So you had no time to think, only to act. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Lord Eremund, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty actions. Truth lies in the next world.
Another of the lingering pains of adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has greater purpose. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your Worship, I... I will try. I should inspect the condition of the trebuchets. They must be calibrated to reach the proper range. Again? How many times will you be doing that? To work? Inquisitor.
good to see you. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are thick. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. 